What do we want to do when we throw the shot? Do we want to do an offset? Who do we want to emulate? Do you have a technical model? We're going to talk about it in this video, so check it out. Everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Merite Throws Nation, and in today's video, we are going to talk about style versus mechanics. Now, one of the things we've always said is don't confuse style with mechanics, and this is always a topic that seems to create controversy. But what we're trying to talk about is finding a style that helps you hit the most optimal mechanics. And again, with the throwing chain reaction system, we always argue there's six pillars of the throw, and there's a lot of ways to do that per the individual. So in today's video, we're going to just kind of use one of the examples of one of our athletes who would come out to train with us and show you what we did literally in a matter of a day. We took a style that he was utilizing. He just couldn't really get comfortable or on balance or move in a way. So we kind of set him up and started to do more of an offset with a bigger, longer movement that helped him create more speed and whip in his throw. And that was really the key. And the distance jumped immediately and the consistency in his throwing jumped immediately. So here we have the athlete and what he was doing on the left was trying to feel more of a static start. And truth be told, there was a little misunderstanding in how this was supposed to work, but it was at first kind of helping him get more on balance and be able to move around the entry axis. Remember, we go pillar one is kind of setting up our chain reaction and winding, and pillar two is gonna be shifting left, moving around the corner, dropping into the throw, which is pillar three. You're gonna notice on the video on the right, we, we had him kind of reach right and we're creating length. We're creating this longer start and he's coming around. For him, this bigger move motion of teaching him how to like move the upper body in conjunction with the lower body, he started to create this much better sweeping position. He would kind of start to feel his wrap position and you see how he's actually kind of getting that elbow up. So he's moving really well and he picked it up really easily and I think this is a really important thing for a lot of throwers that you have to find comfort in your throw and that's one of the things we were doing. So you're going to notice here, everything just started to move better into his throw. He was rotating and you're going to see that the length and the be able to punch, getting way more extension out over the board, you know, a little bit more control. So you can see, not bad, but when we look at the throw in full motion, you're going to see that he just moved a little bit easier. Now we look at it again in slow motion and you're going to notice, so we went to a more dynamic movement. And I think that's a really important thing. So one of the things that we break down in the throwing chain reaction system is we always teach, we have technical days and we have rhythm days and we have technical work and we have rhythmical work and it's really important to find what is also going to create that big nice rhythm point in the throw. Look at the difference in where the, the athletes come in, how he's approaching into the throw. He's getting a lot bigger stretch and you're seeing how he's creating that whip a little bit over rotated but less over rotated than he was. Sweep leg is much wider. He's coming into and rotating around, getting it into the the power position longer moving ahead and being able to rotate the feet into the throw so when you're trying to improve your technique and find that technical movement pattern that works best for you remember that's kind of the whole point of what we decided with the throwing chain reaction in the six pillars was to teach you the mechanics that allows you to be able to find the most optimal movement for you and that's a huge thing that you want to do so sometimes you just got to go simple find your comfort zone and go with it and in this case we tried hey, let's just try something completely different. Let's let's approach this differently. We're going to lengthen it. We're going to do all these different things. And it absolutely worked. And the athlete is still sticking with it to this day. So hopefully that helps. Be sure to check out the Throwing Chain Reaction System. We break it down step by step, teach you how to things that help you unlock your potential and hit bigger results faster. Thanks so much for watching. And we will see you on the next video.